Ironically, I think part of our success is because none of us came from asset management. You know, we sort of had a view of what was missing in the markets. And, you know, from that came the idea for um, an asset manager that was focused on putting risk management at the heart of an investment process. We listened to our clients. We weren't afraid to build a very client-centric business. And I think that ended up serving us, you know, very well over time. Early in your career, you are basically building subject matter expertise. And then, you know, as you grow into a leadership position, now you're really trying to influence others to take the firm to the next level. And so I think you have to evolve. We talk about being client-oriented. We talk about being solutions-oriented. And all of those values in the firm, she embedded and she just lived them simply. You have to learn to do business in other cultures and you have to be inclusive of all different kinds of experience and all different kinds of culture. And that's an ongoing challenge. I think Susan's a superb listener. I think she has an almost eerie ability to hear people from different cultures. Uh, I remember once going to China with her and Sue has spent no time in China before this visit. And I actually speak Chinese. And I was traveling with her for four days, and at the end, I had the uncomfortable feeling that she actually knew more about China than I did. I'm very interested in how different businesses and different leaders figure out ways to lead high-performance teams. Um, and the fact that I think it's universally true that high-performance teams are always the most diverse um, in both thought and experience. And so how do you tap into that? When Sue came to me and said, you know, maybe it's time for her to do something else, my first reaction was to her saying, well, I understand that, but I don't want you to leave BlackRock. I went to my board and said, I know it's highly unusual to ask somebody who's going to leave the company to join the board. But I said, I don't want to lose the mind of Sue Wagner. I am only the second woman <laughs> to be recognized um, since the award began almost 45 years ago. I guess the old saying is one is an exception and two is a trend. And so I'm looking forward to, I hope, welcoming lots more women uh, to these ranks in the future.